A lot of things are not rocket science, but this next story is. Some SDSU students have not only souped up their previous rocket by now making it supersonic, they figured out a revolutionary way to control the rocket systems using something most of us use every day. 12 seconds. That's all it took for this rocket to hit 10,000 feet at almost the speed of sound. Where is it? Yeah. Oh my God. A major feat by the SDSU Rocket Project team. But that was last year. This year, they're reaching higher. Here you can see one of our supersonic flints. Aerospace engineering student Jennifer Wood is one of the team leaders. We learned what we could do better, and that's definitely a really valuable experience as an engineer. The students have a couple of mentors, but Alex Weiss says they get no other help. The key challenge is always money. We never have enough of it, so it takes a lot of engineering to minimize cost. The rocket stands 18 feet tall. Well, it will once they finish assembling it. The nose cone sits right here on the recovery section. All of the internal systems will be controlled by one of these. There's an app for that? There is an app for that. We replace all the electronics with a phone and a microcontroller designed for Android phones. We're pretty sure we're the first people to do it. They're following in the footsteps of a former team member and SDSU alum who now works at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab. In fact, NASA's rockets have a lot in common with this one. They use, they use the exact same type, same types of fuels to, to get to where they're going. They just use a lot more of it. They expect this modified rocket to break the speed of sound, hitting 22,000 feet in 18 seconds. There's really no limit on what you can do. Anything is possible. There's nothing better than seeing your, your engineering feet uh, launching into the sky. We're hoping Google will give us a call after we launch. <laughs> Yeah, give them a call about that app. Liftoff is set for May 18th at a launch site in the Mojave Desert. We will let you know how it goes. Meantime, if you or your company would like to donate to the Rocket Project team, just go to 10news.com and that red TV button. It's going to be running the country very soon.